Hello and welcome to RA Place Victoria C Block. This is episode 295. Uh, I think at the end of the last one, or maybe after the last one, I just fixed up a little bit over here. Um, due to, like, we were short a little bit charcoal in some places. So I fixed that up. Um, this is looking okay, but we're a little bit short on soil. We probably might want to fly some of that in, like, if we look at these machines, like, yeah, if we should probably be getting some more, um, and just fly it in. I think that's, that's a, a, an easy fix if we're out, like, it's, it's kind of annoying to have to, to belt that all over the base. Um, I don't know why we were short on that, I guess for... Like, uh, carbon or something. Yeah, I think it was for carbon. So these guys are, are doing fine now. Um, let's see, how's that for... If we look yeah, at Molten Tin, that's all backed up. That's pretty neat. Um, yeah, so we're actually... It looks like we're... Like a lot of stuff is backing up in various places, including the, the green circuits where we're actually having a little bit of an, an nah, not quite it's not really an input issue like it so it's it's a little bit slow but it's not like we're actually um having issues with input over here we could do it over here to make it a little bit cleaner with respect to all this but in general, like I'm not too worried about that. If we look at the throughput here, it's also relatively okay. Um, it's just that a lot of it is, is still being used for purple science. And that's actually, the backlog is steadily decreasing. Like it wouldn't surprise me at all if at some point we were backlogged by purple science instead of by blue science. So that's, I mean, that's totally fine, but it's, it's something to consider. We're actually military science, we're not too high on either. So yeah, there's a, a lot of random stuff. Like we're not actually producing that much science of all the types. Oh, and I guess that because of the the type of research we're doing, there's also yeah, we're also low on, on pink. Oh, yeah, actually, so the issue is now pink and not and not uh blue where do we even make pink like somewhere over here right yeah i guess it's okay we're short on you guys which are short on the wooden thingies which i think are made over here which are short on the red circuits okay well yeah can't do much about that like we're fine on the loop so that's okay um, if we look at the uranium, how are we doing on that? Because that's going to be pretty interesting. 37. That's really close. We want to be at 40 and then we can start setting up loop. We could, in fact, set that up right now. Um, did I request the beacons? We not? How many? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're really... Um... So I set them up, but I don't think we're requesting them. So let's request like five. And that should be helpful. Uh, yeah, and I also, how many speed modules did I request? I requested 20 and we almost have that. So yeah, we're really running into some, some, yeah, not even latency issues, just uh, raw production issues. Let's see, where's the... Yeah, so the uranium is over here. And... Um, yeah, basically what we want to be doing is we want to run... Uh, the the Govrex process as long as we have less than, I don't know... Like 300 enriched uranium. Like we can, we can set that threshold to be kind of high. That's not an issue. Um, yeah, maybe we should have reserved a little bit more space here, but let's, uh, let's just run it like this for now. Um, so we're gonna use a centrifuge here. 
And the centrifuge is gonna be doing this guy. And in order to do so, uh, we're gonna um, yeah, we're, I mean, we could just run one chest uh, in the beginning, but I think it's good that we we set it up such that we we have a self-sustaining loop here. Um, so the way to do that is we bring in uh, both, right? So we're going to bring We're going to bring in uh, both uh, the types of uranium up here um and then yeah we'll fill that in but we're gonna get <coughs> some of this in here uh which is gonna mean that we're gonna output some of that bring it in uh we'll need a splitter and let's see so we're gonna place that this guy up a little bit and basically what we need is another splitter right here uh, which is gonna bring out the priority to the left filter for this guy and bring that uh, on this side of the belt and you guys are gonna be on this side of the belt there we go and then you should have an output, an input priority on the right. So that way we're going to first try to recycle everything we have. So actually, yeah. So the thing is, once we have this going, we don't need this anymore, right? We just need these guys. So that's, that's actually. So we also need an output priority on the left. Um, and then here, we're gonna have our um, our output for um, for the non non enriched uranium or the enriched uranium. It's gonna be here. We're gonna do this. Uh, you're gonna be this. If we copy this, that actually works out. This is a little bit high. Let's make this like 300. Um, yeah, so basically this works out, right? So now the question is if we do beacons, yeah, we can actually do beacons from here. We could do one over here and then a couple like up here. It seems fine, right? If we do it like this. Um, so yeah, then we can do these guys in here and then speed modules in all of you. So if you look at this, then the crafting speed, okay, we should power everything to see what the effect is, I think. Okay, so this looks to be fine, right? Um, yeah, so you're plus 70%. Yeah, that's like we could add a, a beacon or two. Mm, yeah, like over here and over here. Yeah, that's this. This should be fine. So if we power those guys and put in some uh, lowly speed modules, this is, this is the best we're gonna get it. So um, you should have been a filter as well. My bad. Uh, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna make you a filter inserter. There we go. And you're gonna whitelist only the enriched form. So. 
the way this is gonna work you guys are gonna need 40 of this it's gonna go down here we're gonna get the unenriched form down here which we're gonna immediately recycle if we have some to take from here we won't supply the external one um, if we have some enriched uranium uh, yeah and and once we have enriched uranium left over it's gonna go this way and we're gonna put it in here now there's one disadvantage of this and that's that we actually have a little bit of a a loop here and we're gonna need about 40 more once just to to get stuff in here because there's gonna be a backlog in the machine of 40 enriched uranium so that's kind of weird but we'll, we'll deal with it as we go like in, in fact like if we look at um sort of the the production process like it's I'm not not too worried uh, about that anyway. Um, also, the way we could set it up, we could set up another one right here, but then do this setup a little bit below. Um, that's going to be fine with the fluids, I think. Like, we can sneak that through, but then we can reuse this these beacons as we wish. Um, yeah, that should be totally fine. I guess if not we'll figure it out we might need to use underground belt or something yeah but it's really like we need we need two more enriched uranium before this can kick off but when it does like it's it's gonna be a 60 second recipe i think but it's uh yeah it's crafting speed 2.1 so it's actually gonna be 30 seconds which is gonna be real nice and we added uh how much productivity 12 percent so that's not to be underestimated like the the productivity here matters a lot because you have this this weird uh, setup where you put in 40 and you get 41 out but that simply means that if we run this recipe 10 times we're gonna get 41 extra uranium and rich uranium which is a big 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 deal yeah actually so that means that because this is circular it actually has the the two productivity modules have such a, uh basically a high uh yeah a high yield that's that's incredible i i never really thought about it like this so just because it's circular, it the the yield of these productivity modules is amplified by a ton. Yeah, that's really really interesting actually. But that simply means that if if so if we run this recipe about so about ten times is gonna get us an additional forty one, which is gonna pile up in the machine. Then another is gonna get us another ten times is gonna get us another forty one. So that's gonna be uh, so 10 times is five minutes so in about 10 minutes we should be getting our first uh, enriched uranium out here i think um and then basically we can choose to add more but the the backlog we need for that is basically two times the amount so which could be fine but it, it's it's uh, interesting if we look at yeah, basically this so we can also start looking at what we what else we need for this radio thing uh no satellites let's see radio electric thermal yeah so do we have the sodium cobaltate in the network i think we uh, we actually did that at some point yeah we did okay then uh, there's nothing uh, going on there um yeah, these guys are running as, as much as they can. If we look at the uranium crafting. Mm. How's that gonna go? Um, it's actually short on sapphire chunks. That's interesting. Why is that? Yeah, because, or it's short on the crystals because it's short on the chunks. And it's short on the chunks because... It's short on the crush stuff. 
And it's short on the crush stuff because throughput issues? No, yeah, because no, not not actually throughput issues. Just because we the fluid's not not enough. Okay, let's just check on these guys. Is everything okay there? Um. Yeah, looks okay, looks okay. This is backlogged, but that's landfill. That's okay. Um, yeah, these guys are all running. This is backlogged. Why are you backlogged? Because the slag slurry is full. Okay. Then are we filtering enough? Let's see. Mineral sludge is... Yeah, I guess we... Could be doing more filtering. We might be running into fluid dynamics issues then. But I guess like the fact that this is not starting to back up means that we, we still don't have enough. So let's uh, move in over there and uh, make another copy of that, that bit. So yeah, we're gonna just extend this a little bit. There we go. And then copy you guys. Actually, what we can do is copy this and then place this over here. Yeah, should be fine. The only thing we need to do is uh, if we place the filtration units ourselves, we can already put in uh, the ceramic filters and like this, move you guys. And that, that should be everything we need for that. So that's, that's gonna be scaled up nicely. You're still at uh, 75, which is fine. Like, I'm not gonna bother scaling up. Well, actually, maybe I should bother scaling that up a little bit. Like the rocket control units are just really, really low. Um, yeah, let's, let's make a small like uh, speed module build like over here. That seems worthwhile. Because that's that's really the uh, uh, or yeah I think we'll want to make like a robotish build. Can we do speed modules in the? Um, in these guys in the electronics assembly machines, it would make sense, right? So, um, no, just the module cards we could do in there. Okay, good to know. Um, but yeah, for these guys, we need uh, advanced circuits, module case, main module board. Yeah, so these guys, we could manufacture locally. These guys, not so much. We really need to import those. But I think if we look at this, yeah, we need four harnesses. The harnesses are really the, the, the issue, right? These are 15 second crafting times. But if we look at this, like the harnesses are really where the money's at. Um, and they need insulated wire. Yeah, module contacts and solder. Yeah, we can we can uncork the solder locally and the rest will have to fly in. Um, so yeah, let's let's set something up for that. What if we did like uh, let me check. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like just just to check but Let's just set up a small helmet for everything we need, right? So we want to make you guys, and we want to make, uh, I don't know, ten. I still don't know what time ratio this is over, but whatever. Uh, we're going to do that in, let's do uh, assembler shore. And yeah, we're going to need all of that. So this is going to be interesting. We can do that in you guys. And this is going to be interesting. We can do that in. Can't do that in. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well. Yeah, and we can do the uncorking basically in, in those. So yeah, we need, basically we need two of these for every one of these. So that suggests that we might actually want to do some something that's directly inserting them. 
Well, so if we look at the volume, right, the volume is not that problematic, but we need to we need to build them anyway, and we don't have anything else these go in. So I, on that front, it does make sense to do direct insertion. Um, yeah, so what we could do actually, yeah, what I think makes sense is do maybe something along these lines. So let's do this, this, this. So you're going to be speed modules, you're going to be harnesses, you're going to be harnesses. Um, then for these guys, like we want to fly most of that in, but maybe not these guys. And we need about the same amount of these for both of them. So what we could do is do it like this, right? So do like uh, this, this. So you're going to be these guys. Um, like this. No, like this. Yeah, and like this. And then actually... Yeah, do we want to... We could try to make this symmetrical. That would make a lot of sense. Uh, do these have shared inputs? Not really, right? No, no, the solder is a shared input. So if we uncork the solder here... Um, right? And do the same... Because that, that recipe, I'm pretty sure... Uh, let's see, like this right if we do that in this then yeah we just need like this this ratio isn't even funny so we can safely do that locally but we we do need multiple machines just to make it work um yeah so what we can do now is we can do like this, this, you drop over here and pick up over here, you drop, no, you drop, you pick up over here, but you drop over here. Um, yes, so if we look at... Wait, but do we need those? Do we need these? These we do more or less need one to one, and these we really need two to one. But wait, do we need these? Yeah, we do need those for the modules, not for the actual the other thing, right? So, yeah. Let's see. So we have these guys. I mean, if we if we can do it in a small block, that seems fine. We can just repeat that block, right? And we'll be okay. So we're gonna do you. We're gonna do you. We're gonna do you, 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 and you. Then we're gonna do a little requester chest uh, over here with everything we need for these guys. Uh, except you. Um, yeah, this seems okay. You're gonna need a little request or chest. We're gonna try and squeeze everything in. Maybe we are. Let's see. Let's do you. And bring it like this. Drop over here. We're gonna do the same thing over here, but yeah, okay. Uh, you drop it over here. And we'll do the requester chest here. Okay, so now we have for these, these guys are all fat. So you guys need a requester chest. Um, yeah, we can't really fit it in a square, I'm afraid. But we don't, we don't actually need to, do we? We could just do it like this. That's fine. Like this. Except we cancel you. Then we're gonna do it like this. 
and like this and uh, copy you over um yeah okay so that's all good uh we're gonna do output in uh, a passive provider over here like this and copy you uh, and we're gonna do request some stuff over here and we're gonna do the same thing can we use productivity modules in these things i don't think so right yeah i'm pretty sure not otherwise i would have done that for some of the other stuff yeah so uh but we don't need you guys and we don't need you guys yeah so let's uh copy all of this i'm gonna put it in here and i'm gonna delete some stuff namely uh this guy this guy this guy and this guy this guy this guy and this guy okay confirm and then i'm gonna put that in here uh yeah they're gonna just fill that for me actually yeah so we do need to put in some power poles here and there but if we do that like this like this like yeah like this then we have ba yeah, now we have uh, basically everything covered i mean we could be doing that more efficiently but i think this is fine so let's put this in our nice blueprint book. I think this will be all right. So actually, yeah, we could just put down one over here. So let's just delete this part. Um, and we'll put down another one. We'll cancel you, delete it, there we go. And we put down one of you guys over here. And then we probably need to make some of the stuff that we request here in a little bit higher volume. But other than that, I think we'll be fine. Um, yeah, should be good. Um, yeah, and while this is being built, uh, I'm also just gonna cut this episode right here. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps people like you find it too. Thanks!